Hello, I'm Dr. Chelsea Henney. This video is to help pregnant women understand the benefits of prenatal chiropractic care as well as what the Webster technique is. And ideally it's for women who are expecting. So whether that's for first trimester, second trimester, third trimester, or even if they are in preconception mode, I will also touch on postpartum care and how the benefits can extend beyond just labor and delivery. So let's get started here with the slides. And I also have some notes that I'll be looking at that will keep me organized and on track for you guys. So the benefits of prenatal chiropractic care. You may have heard of the term prenatal chiropractic care or Webster technique, and you might've heard it from maybe a mom's group or a friend or on social media. And you might be unsure of what it means or maybe still have some questions. So I just want to highlight the benefits of care, ease some of those fears and allow you to understand the benefits even beyond just discomfort, which I'll mention, but to really set up the neurological tone for you and your future little one. Um, I know that pregnant bodies are changing so quickly and generally you're really cautious about what you're eating, putting into your body, what's going on your skin, products that you're using, as well as the movement, because this is an important phase for growing and developing. And I just want to help you understand more about what the body's going through and give you some knowledge and information so that you can feel more empowered and powerful about making your decisions and having a pregnancy that is amazing and happy and healthy. And I just want to acknowledge that that pregnancy can be difficult. And I do know this, but I also know that with the right team and tribe around you, you can really do anything. Um, you might wonder how I know about pregnancy and I am a chiropractor who specializes in prenatal care, postpartum care, as well as pediatrics, the so little kiddos. And I also have gone through two pregnancies myself and have um, two little ones that are four plus years old. So I have a lot of experience with not only the moms and the babies in our practice, but also home life as well. And I can tell you that monkey see, monkey do. Definitely, if mom is happy, baby's happy. If mom is stressed, we generally see that there is more tension in her body, which then leads to baby being more stressed. Um, and we just love to see when moms are flourishing and they're empowered and they're happy. And it can be at any type of pregnancy, whether it's um, a VBAC or you're having twins or multiples, or you're going from one to two or two to three, or if it's just your first time. It's all exciting and they all benefit from our care. So I want to start with more of the anatomy of the female. So hopefully you guys can see my pointer here on the screen. Yep, there it is. All right. So this here pelvic ring is what we're going to term this. We have the sacrum in the back. We have the pelvis here on both sides coming into that pubic synthesis in the middle. So this is a drawing of that sacral piece, the pelvic bones coming around and that pubic bone in the middle. What I wanna show is that the three major organs that are in here is the bladder, the uterus, where baby is, and rectum, where our poo comes out. So a side view of this, a more, more detailed anatomy view, is here's the bladder, this piece up here is the pubic bone, then you have vagina and uterus, and the rectum and anus here, and then that sacral bone in the back. Going back to this screen, it shows us that the uterus here, how it's attached and held is through the blue lines going to the back. That's going to be the utero sacral ligament, ligaments that go out from the side of it, cardinal ligaments, transverse cervical ligaments, and then a ligament that goes from the uterus to the front of that pubic bone, which is the pubocervical ligament. That's more like the pelvis floor holding um, baby, not baby, but the uterus in and up. And then I wanna bring it back to this view, that side view again, right? Pubic bone, bladder, uterus, rectum, and those ligaments that I just showed you would be more down and through here. 
And what I want to show you now is this part up here around the uterus. The big part here, broad ligament, that might be a term that you have heard going through some of your readings and research. And then this bulging point here, this is the round ligament. And in this picture here, I've outlined the round ligament coming through. This is that it goes through an inguinal canal and then it comes out and it's going to be more in that pubic bone area. Again, side view here because I want to demonstrate that the uterus is going out towards the belly. And then we get to see these fun pictures that I'm sure you've seen before, but you get the little fetus growing and you see how it's growing through the weeks. And then ultimately we want baby to be head down for optimal delivery and easiest birthing position. And another picture, because I just thought it was so fun seeing the actual belly. You can see down in here, pubic bone in front, bladder, and the uterus as it grows and it starts taking up more real estate in there. And that's when women can start talking about these common symptoms of pregnancy. And on the screen, you might see like the discomfort of back pain or some pelvic pain um, morning sickness, sleeping issues, pregnancy brain, there's cravings, there's changes to digestion, there's constipation, and you're going to notice that a lot of these symptoms are under the stress title category here. So our bodies function in two systems, and there is the stress side and growth side. And so these two systems, they help us identify how well your body is handling and adapting to stress. The stress side, also known as sympathetic, that is our um, helping us rev up or be quick or do something fast. So if we're driving, it would help us like swerve and get out of the way so we didn't hit something. Versus the growth side, which is our parasympathetic side, or our calm side, yep, you hear me slowing down my voice, that's where we get to do a lot of our digestion and sleeping so that we can have good nutrients and energy for our days. The important thing to note here is you cannot be in both at the same time. You can be at one at one time. So moderation is key here. If we think about a marathon or a journey, if you were to run the first few miles and just go all out and give it everything you got, it's going to be unbalanced because then when you get to the later miles, you're not really going to have much to give and your energy and reserves and all of that is going to be different than what you were hoping you would have for the run. So basically what I'm saying is when the stress mode is on, that's when you're going to notice and see some of these things being expressed or brought up those concerns. So that's your body alerting that it needs more help. Um, the same can be said for the growth and calm side, but I generally tend to see mamas in our office that are more in that stress cycle. Their body is growing and changing, baby is growing, and they're trying to do more and get prepared and still work and y'all know the list. And we get stuck in the stress cycle. So Things seem like they're harder and the emotions get bigger and there's more aches and pains and more restricted feelings. So the help that the body is craving, that is the reset and reorganization that it wants. It wants out of that stress loop and that's what chiropractic assessment and the adjustment can help do. It can help you reset and restore balance to your system, your nervous system, and it helps to Take things, slow it down, and recenter it. The first system that grows in a little baby is their nervous system, the brain and spinal cord, and all the nerves that go out to your body that help run and control things. That's the same system that has the stress mode and the growth mode, and where you can only be in one at a time. So I have a testimonial here that I will read you from a mama. And she was planning or hoping for a med-free, medicine-free, low-intervention birth. And she was referred into us and started getting adjusted because her baby was growing, her belly was growing, her body was getting much bigger. But she noticed that in her third trimester, 
it was starting to take a really big toll on her low back and she had back pain and sleeping issues and she was just feeling misaligned. Um, and then she said after she started getting adjustments, she noticed that she didn't feel pregnant when she started getting adjusted. She's like, I continued feeling like myself with a belly. Isn't that awesomeness? So she says that even if you're healthy and capable, the most important part of care is being healthy and in the best possible position for birth, labor, and delivery, or just when something is amiss, and that prenatal chiropractic care is super helpful. Um, and so if you want to talk benefits that are listed right there on the calm side. You have rest, you have relaxation, calmness, like I had said, proper digestion, things are flowing and clearing out, immune function is better, and then growth and development for a baby is more optimal. Now we might say, well, what about the adjustments? And that's where Webster Technique comes in. Webster Technique, a prenatal chiropractic technique used to assess and correct pelvic alignment where optimal outcomes of function is facilitated. And so we touched on wanting to check and see the adaptability and how your body is handling changes. Um, and Dr. Webster, he's a chiropractor, that's the technique is named after, he had some personal experience with his daughter's birth. And he was searching for and striving for an adjustment that would help laboring women to have ease with birth. And he felt that there must be a specific way of addressing subluxations, so we're thinking bones and alignments not in their proper places, a specific way of addressing those throughout pregnancy that would contribute to safer, easier births for the mother. Guys, come on. It's amazing. So the Webster technique was developed, and that's what we utilize now to check for pelvic alignment and, like it says, having the most optimal outcome of function for your body. So there are three approaches to the Webster technique, kind of a three prong. Um, feel free to go back and look at the anatomy that I did set up in the beginning, because now you have some reference for it, and it might be more useful for you. Um, but we are gonna check the pelvic and sacral bones, so that pelvic ring area, as well as the ligaments. Some that I mentioned would be round ligaments and the uterosacral ligament as well as some of the muscles, so piriformis and psoas muscles. Um, and just the reason that we want to check these, and most often, is that there is some shifting that can happen. Um, I'm more of a visual person, and I loved this when I was pregnant, so I'm going to show you guys. So I have just like a regular balloon. Let me grow into big screen mode here. Okay, balloon, and this is a ping pong ball. You want to get the ping pong ball into the balloon. So take in your fingers, get all the way open. So you're at the very bottom. And then slide the ping pong ball in. There we go. Okay, now we have our uterus. And the ping pong ball is going to be like the baby's head. And I'm going to blow it up. You hold the bottom, you know, kind of let the ping pong ball settle, and then it will hold air. So this is, there we go, sorry, out of the frame here. This I want to simulate the uterus and how it's growing. And it grows, <clears throat> excuse me, and if you have Braxton Hicks contractions, those are going to be felt down and through here. Ligaments are the ones that are coming off here so that it can be stabilized within our pelvis, but if one was to pull or rotate, can you see how now it's not in an optimal position? Because ideally with contractions, your body presses on top and it presses and so that it can go, baby can go down towards mama's opening, right down towards mama's opening. But if something was to be pulling on it, can you see now when I press, and even if it's not, there's more resistance and it's not as easy because 
this is pulling. So that's what the Webster technique is trying to do is make sure that everything is nice and easy and optimal so that as you continue to dilate, see, you can see the baby's head. There we go. And baby keeps pushing. Guys, I'm going to shoot it this way. Woo! Baby comes out. <laughs> So that is hopefully a helpful demonstration of how the uterus and baby and the ligaments all work together that are housed within the bones of the pelvis and sacrum, that pelvic ring. Um, and another thing is the lovely um, effects of relaxin on our body. Unfortunately, they don't just go to pinpoint areas, they go throughout the whole body. So that is one reason that the sacro-pelvic bones can get misaligned and then take the ligaments and muscles and rotate them and have some more tension on them. That's where the round ligament pain comes in, low back pain, sacral pain, sciatic pain, those type of things come in. And when we can reassess using the Webster technique, take that approach, the three-pronged approach, and restabilize that pelvis ligament muscle area as well as those nerves going to that area, then the mama's happy and baby's happy because it has the ample space that it can, wants, needs to grow. Next up is adjustments. So for the adjustments, we have, let me see, are you guys, this one's pretty big. Let's see if you can see it. It's our pregnancy pillow. So we lay it down on the table like this. And there's an indent here all the way around. There's a hole in it. And mama's belly goes in there. Guys, it's heavenly. You get to lay down on your belly. Some of that weight comes off of you. And you probably haven't laid on your belly in a long, long time. <laughs> so it is just amazing. That is one thing that our mamas comment on. Um, there's no twisting or turning the hips or the back. Um, it's safe for both pregnant and for pregnant for mama, the pregnant mama and baby. Um, and we look at the entire body, not just the pelvis, but everything's connected. So we also look up your back to your neck, all around the whole body. Um, and they are really specific and we take into account all aspects of your pregnancy, including like it says on here, the bones, the ligaments and the muscles, and then Ultimately, that reduces the stress on your body and stimulates the growth mode. And who wouldn't want to reduce their stress on baby too? So the benefits are here, but I also, before we get too far into that, want to let you guys know that we have a separate video where a mom gave us permission to videotape her. Um, getting an adjustment. So you'll see laying down the pillow on the table, us going through some of the assessments and getting to hear and see what that's about. So I would highly recommend checking that out after this video. So with the proper pelvic alignment, you guys, easier labor and delivery. That means less time pushing. So amazing. And it leads to less interventions, which could be medications, that could be hands-on assistance as baby's coming out, or even C-section surgery um, with the proper alignment. And you get better dilation. Remember that balloon that I was squeezing? Dilation was just coming right up, which ultimately means that there's less stress on you, less stress on the baby, and overall less work for everyone, including your birth team. Um, so really, we're looking at the stress mode at mom in the alignment of the pelvic ring to see how we can help calm that down because a stressed out baby generally has more reflux is more colicky this is kind of an unhappy baby and when we get a relaxed baby a calm baby they are growing and thriving and everyone is happy so we work really our work is to help mom achieve their true labor and delivery goals. We really like to educate you, mama, and empower you so that you can have an amazing pregnancy with energy and get that delivery that you want wherever you want it, whether that's a home birth or it's at a birth center or a hospital or wherever it is with whatever you want. Um, 
So often I hear with the birth team that it's the OB or the midwife and a doula. Sometimes there's some nutrition people in there, but I would really love to see a prenatal chiropractor on every single mama's birth team um, because it's not a newer concept. It's been, um, chiropractic has been around for over 120 years and I just going through both of my pregnancies, I realized that a lot of the other people on the team are there for um, focusing on baby and its growth. And yep, we definitely want to, they're worried about mom making sure that like she can grow and develop that baby and that, yes, yeah, she will survive. But I don't think they really focus on is mom loving and thriving through pregnancy? Is it happy? Is it easy for her? I mean, I do understand that not all pregnancies are going to be like easy and that not all women carry pregnancies well, but really like chiropractic, the testimonials we hear and the moms that we get to interact with just rave about how much better their bodies feel and how much easier their pregnancies are. And I mean, really taking the stress off can impact so many different functions and systems in your body. It's not only your mom body, but also baby's body. It's the brain function, the immune system, digestive system, muscular system, the emotional system, and just allowing all of those systems to work easier and be more efficient. Life gets easier. Your appointments get to be less stressful because you're just like, everything's going great and it's so good. Um, so I would really encourage you to check out a prenatal chiropractor. Um, and then you have to struggle with most of the common symptoms that are said throughout pregnancy. Um, we have some testimonials for you here. This mama is a mama of three, and she said, the final weeks of my pregnancy were the easiest of all three of my pregnancies. I didn't experience indigestion, back pain, or significant round ligament pain like I'd had with my other babies. And that round ligament pain is generally down. I'm going to stand up and show you down oh can you guys see down in that pelvic region um in the front we had another mom who was a first time mom and she said that during labor she hit a wall i was tired exhausted needed to have food and was having a rough time in a fear pain cycle i was afraid that the fear cycle was causing more pain and the pain was making me more afraid not the place i wanted to be in for labor after I received an adjustment by the chiropractor who came to my birth birthing place, it was like night and day. It took me out of the fear pain cycle within five minutes of the adjustment. I was able to rest and had the med free birth we wanted. That adjustment I would say saved our labor and allowed us to have the birth we wanted to have. Without it, I'm unsure of where it would have gone. Don't underestimate the body's power to heal chiropractic turns it on to get into that healing state. Oh, I'm just so proud of that mama. Because you guys, you guys go through a lot of work for all those weeks. And then the next phase is that labor and delivery and to really help even during that time too, if the body does get stuck in like this mama Alyssa was saying, the fear pain cycle to help it recenter and reorganize is just amazing within adjustments and within five minutes saving her her labor and delivery that she wanted. So postpartum support looks a lot like helping the, holding the baby, nursing the feeding baby, carrying the baby gear in the diaper bag, the posture changes that the body goes through, the healing from labor and delivery, hormones rebalancing, the lack of sleep, just the new parent stress. All of those stresses can also be kind of reset, reorganized, calmed down with chiropractic care. So we are here to make your life easier, to help your pregnancy be less stressful, help your baby just have more happiness, more comfort, more room to grow, and ultimately have a, just an easier, faster labor and delivery if that's possible, and lots more happiness. So if this sounds like the support you're looking for during pregnancy and beyond, whether you need some of it, all of it, or just a little bit of it, please contact us. Oh, 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 oh,